What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where the Alfa Romeo Giulia will live on, but it will be a electric sedan and we knew that this was coming and Alfa Romeo CEO said that Alfa won't be an SUV only brand with the all electric Giulia sedan confirmed in its future product lineup. Now the Alfa Romeo Giulia will live on as an all electric sedan car according to the brand's chief executive officer, Gianfilippo Imperato. Now while the company will focus on electric SUVs too, with Alfa Romeo's first full EV coming in 2024, Imperato told Auto Express in an interview that Alfa Romeo will have a future for Giulia and will do the job for SUVs too. The car is absolutely gorgeous, so there is a future for this type of car, but it will be a future that will be electrified. It means probably 100% full BEV, which is battery electric vehicle for Alfa Romeo. Now, according to Imperato, a move to full electrification for its core saloon is a must as the brand looks to turn its portfolio models to fully electric by 2027. Now, Imperato also added, I have to make some big choices. If I want to have more than an average level of performance, I must be bold. If I say go electric, I go electric. I'm not half pregnant, if you see what I mean. It doesn't work. It is a risk, but that's normal. We are here to take some risks, but we have passed the tipping point for me. Now, despite the move to all electric powertrains, Alpha's boss outlined that the brand will continue to prioritize the driver-centric and sporty approach to his cars that have become known for over its 111 year history. And I know this is important to you guys, so listen up. He says, I would love to have this light is right tagline for Alfa Romeo. Even if I have one ton of battery behind me, I want to convey an idea of lightness, even if I'm electrified. It's fundamental of Alfa Romeo, and we are building this new range based on that, but it's not enough. We are working on the vibe you will feel free when you drive an Alfa Romeo in 2025. Now apparently, this won't be an artificial sound either. According to Imperato, the Frenchman outlined that he doesn't want to bring fake features to Alfa Romeo cars, which would not be keeping its values. As a result, his innovation team is working on new sensations it wants customers to feel, vibrations, feedback, and even Imperato says, probably some new sounds and movements, but nothing fake. That isn't the intention. So, when it comes to the new Julius technical underpinnings, the saloon will move from the existing combustion engine from the Giorgio platform to parent company Stellantis STLA large architecture, which will offer a minimum of 800 kilometers, 497 miles of range, with battery sizes ranging from 101 kilowatts to 118 kilowatts, according to the Stellantis investor information. And it will also offer class leading rapid charge capabilities with up to 20 miles of range added per minute. Now the STLA large is designed for all wheel drive performance models with Alfa Romeo's parent company outlining a possible zero to 62 mile per hour time as low as two seconds for cars based on this tech. And combined with elements as regular cars must deliver, according to Imperato, the brand will study a performance-focused quadrifolio version, as we mentioned on the videos before. Now, this will look to offer higher-powered, more aggressive options that fully consist with the quadrifolio message that they stand for since the beginning of the brand. Now, Imperato did add that if Alfa Romeo was not able to deliver the right level of performance of a quadrifolio model needed to bring the given sector, the brand would not compromise by building such a car. So it's all or nothing. And Stellantis will have three electric drive modules at its disposal with a third offering 400 or 800 v tech and up to 443 bhp per motor now it means to reach the required performance level of a julia quadrifolio it would likely use a dual motor four-wheel drive setup. And to protect its future characteristics, Alpha needs its future cars to have the brand as a member of its product team embedded in the development of the STLA large architecture. Now, Imperato added, the guy who is embedded by us to define the specifications, the features, the performance, is Fabio Mivriaca, the guy who developed the GTA version for the Alfa Romeo. He breathes Alfa Romeo, so he will give features we need to define this totally clean sheet design. Now, the Julia will be a part of Alfa's fully electric product offense that kicks off in 2024, likely to be an SUV that will offer one trim and two powertrains per year over the next five years, as we discussed, with this plan already signed off and funding allocated. So the Tenali will launch in 2022 after a 12 week delay to improve the car's performance, followed by a product event in 2023, which will likely be a small SUV, 
the first full EV to come in 2024, but Emperato said the first full EV will come in 2024 and we'll see a big launch in 2025, 2026, and we'll see Alfa Romeo's full BEV in 2027. This is validated and funded. Now, when it comes to dream cars that Imperato would love to create, he admitted that the GTV is on the list, but he also added in his closing statement, if I had to make a choice, I go for the Duetto Spire. Obviously, we have designed that car, but I will not dare put that on the table before Alfa Romeo is completely secure in its finances, but we can do it with the technological bridge we have in the product plan, no problem. So with that said, a lot from Alfa Romeo CEO Gianfilippo Imperato, a lot of great stuff and a lot of things that were really fan service. I mean, he's really kind of embedding himself into making the best electric cars Alfa Romeo can make. All right, so he's not trying to just put an electric car to put it out there, but he's still trying to give it Alfa Romeo DNA, which I know a lot of you guys were concerned about as far as the sound, which he's trying to make fully you know, authentic as far as the driving experience. He doesn't just want you driving something with a battery behind it, but still have that same Alfa Romeo DNA performance that the previous cars have had. And if he makes a quadrifolio version, it's gonna be quadrifolio or nothing. It's not gonna be half and half. So with that said, he's definitely doing his best with what he's given in the emissions and innovations and regulations moving forward. So with that said, are you guys a little bit more at ease hearing what Imperato had to say about the electric Giulia moving on as an all-electric sedan? Let me know down in the comments below. How are you feeling about hearing this after these comments? Now, with that said, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Give the video a like. We'll help get it up in rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on the all-electric Alfa Romeo Giulia coming soon. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo. Just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel, I appreciate the love and support you guys show. Thank you so much. Now, you guys can also check out the Ron's Rice merch in case you want hoodies, you want long sleeve shirts, you want coffee mugs, glasses, joggers, everything Ron's Rice is there. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. So everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now, with that said, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.